Hi, my name is uh, Jonathan Pacini. I'm a cardiac electrophysiologist and director of electrophysiology at the Duke University Medical Center Clinical Research Institute in Durham, North Carolina. And uh, today we'll be discussing the MICRA Continued Evidence Development or MICRA CED study, um, the uh, two year follow up results. For patients who receive a single chamber pacemaker uh, for many decades, uh, the primary modality by which patients received this pacemaker was a single lead transvenous device typically implanted from uh, one of the subclavian vessels. Uh, however, uh, several years ago, uh, leadless technology emerged on the scene and in the United States, the approved leadless pacemaker uh, is the micro pacemaker, uh, which is a device about the size of a large pill that has four nitinol tines that keep uh, the pacemaker fixed uh, on the septal aspect of the distal right ventricle uh, and that allowed single chamber pacing without the need for a pacemaker pocket and without the need for a lead, which as many uh, folks in cardiovascular medicine know is considered the weak link of pacing systems, uh, the part of the device that uh, has the most long-term complications and failure rates. So uh, this uh, leadless pacemaker has been available in clinical practice. And so the concept of this study uh, was to be able, while we have data from controlled studies, uh, the question was, is what is the performance of this device relative to a traditional transvenous single chamber pacemaker in nationwide clinical practice? And in particularly, how does the device perform with respect to long-term safety? The continued evidence development program uh, was developed uh, in collaboration with the Centers uh, for Medicare Services in the United States. And that is a um, concept in which um, Payments uh, can be made to reimburse centers for the device while additional clinical information is gathered from clinical practice. Uh, 